Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to be playing... Hmm... I mean, with so many question marks, it's like... Hmm... That's it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having a little bit of fun with that title. Um, so I did mention in yesterday's puzzle, and I'm not sure if you've actually seen it, played it, certainly would recommend you check out Parity Ship. But this is another puzzle from Kenneth's dad. And the thing about this puzzle is it's yet another Sudoku variant rule. Um, now, to introduce people into this rule, um, Kenneth's dad basically created a one-star difficulty puzzle. There are harder puzzles using this new variant, so if you do enjoy it, do let me know in the comments down below as usual, and I'll plan to essentially feature more of this particular variant. Now, I think with the title, hmm, doesn't really give you a lot of a clue around what's going on, so let's take a look at today's puzzle and rules. So... I'm going to repeat it again, hmm, by Kenneth's dad. And uh, as usual, he's circumspect with the rules. Up front, you know it's a fog of war, garden path lines, and XV pairs. Now, I'm almost certain you guys wouldn't have seen garden path lines, so let me walk you through all the rules as usual. First off, normal Sudoku rules apply. So that means in this case, because this is a six by six, place the digits one to six once each in every row, in every column, and in every three by two box. And you can see the three by two boxes outlined by the thicker black lines. Now the grid is partially covered in fog. Placing a correct digit will remove the, the fog surrounding that digit. So I don't know what that digit is, but let's assume it's a two for a second. What it would do is essentially reveal all of these gray cells, whatever's behind them, hopefully more clues that would actually allow us to progress the puzzle. Now, here is what garden path lines are all about. The box borders divide lines into segments with different sums, where one sum will be double the other. So if you guys are familiar with region sum lines, it's similar but not quite, because essentially what it's saying is, let me use this. So you've got actually two boxes here, or two lines, I should say. So one of these, like almost like a trapezoid, um, is this one cell red line that is going towards these three cell red lines. So what that's saying is whatever this cell is, let's just call it A, uh, and I don't know if A is repeated, it certainly could be, essentially that either A is double the sum of B plus C plus D, feels unlikely, or B plus C plus D is uh is double the value of A. That's what the rules mean. Not entirely sure I'm going to use it, but he did promise that this is going to be a fairly quick puzzle. Um, it is, after all, meant to be introductory to this new variant. Last but not least, we have digits in cells joined by a V, must sum up to five. You can just about see a V here joining these two cells, and all that's saying is that these two cells must sum up to five. So if that was a two, this would have to be a three, to make sure they do actually sum up to five. So, only thing left to say is, if you want to play, I'm going to do it again. Hmm. Link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. Now, the intro made me feel fairly confident. I mean, there's fog, of course. So really, other than the fact that this is one of two different options, one, two, three, four, we really don't have a lot to go on other than the garden path line. So this is clearly the place to start. Now, I think what is interesting is this blue cell is either double or half of these green cells. But notice there is another box that's going around as well. So what it's saying is that now these purple cells are either equal to half or double whatever green is. Now, I think half is unlikely. Um, the reason I say that is because, remember, the blue is part of it. So even if blue is half of green, blue is part of the sum of purple. So whatever this is, I'm absolutely certain it is double whatever green is. And I think in return, green is going to be double whatever blue is. Now, given the minimum this is, is 1, 2, 3, which is 6, that would make this a 3, and then 6 times 2 would make this 12. 
So in essence, we'd need another nine, which would be four, five. That's one option, if it's as I described. The fact that the minimum here is six, and the maximum here is six, tells me that whatever this cell is, it's definitely half of whatever these are. I guess the other option would be, let's, let's go one up, would be four. This would be eight, which is quite easy to achieve. And then these would be 16, which I think is actually impossible to do in a six by six Sudoku because four, five, six is the maximum, which is 15. It is too big. So this is a three and yeah, the fog is cleared. And this is one, two, three. And one, two, three, this has to be a four. It can't be two, three, a two, three pair because that would break the rest of the row. So this has to be a one, this has to be a four, this has to be a two, this has to be a three. All right, I'm gonna lose the colors now because I, I think they fulfilled their purpose. We might need them here in a second. This is five, six, that is an 11. Now I'm gonna tell you that 11 is not gonna add up to, half of 11 is not gonna add up to an integer value. So I'm going to say with great confidence that this has to be at least a 12, as in this is a one, and this here is a six. And I don't think there's any other way of doing this. If we go anything further beyond 12, that would break this puzzle because the maximum I can put in here is six. And equally, because I put the maximum I put in here is six, and this is already 11, I couldn't do any other value. So that's six, that's five, and you can see already it's going, oh, hang on, it's, the line is continuing. So I'm assuming that means that there is another segment of the line down here somewhere that adds up to six. It's not gonna add up to 24. Yes, because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is only 21. So that answers that question. So that's 6, that's 1. Then we need these, I'm going to say 3 cells, because it can't go beyond 3 cells to add up to 6. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3. That is not a 1. That is 4, 5, 6. That is 2, 3. And this is 4, 5, 6. Not sure why I'm doing this pencil marking. You know, you know me. I'm not a fan of just over pencil marking. What I can tell you is that here is two sixes. That is the only place for a six in this box. Um, this is clearly going to be heading to another twelve. So we've got six. This is going to be at least a nine already. So it's going to have to turn. Whether it turns down here or turns at a diagonal. It's clearly not this cell, and it's not straight because that's 15. That is way more than double six. So there is another cell in here that makes sure that these two cells plus whatever is in here adds up to 12. Anyway, five, let's just, just do a bit of Sudoku, clean house a bit. Um, there is, these two cells are one and two. We know that this is not the one, that's the two, that's the one, that's the three, that's the four, this is the five, this is the three. Let's see if we can keep going. Oh, that three gives me two and one and three and two. Lovely. Then we have in here, I'm going to say one, two, six, except that's not one, that's not two. Where does three go in column three? You know, there you go. And we now know it is a diagonal. So let's think about options that add up to 12. So if I do four and five in here as in nine, that would need to be a three, that's not available. So four, five is definitely not it. It means there's definitely a six, that's one. In fact, this is a one, two. That actually just tells me what it is. I don't have to do complicated math. That is one, that is two, two. These two need to add up to 10. That is clearly four and six, not four and five. So that's a four, six pair. That is the five. That's a four, that's a five, that's a six. That is a one, a six, a two, a four, four, I can type, a five, a four, and if I've not made any mistakes, a six for the solution for today's puzzle. So yeah, I think Kenneth's dad was correct. It is a very quick puzzle. It is a, a quick intro into this new variant that he's come up with. And uh, like, uh, like always, if you guys are interested, if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the description down below. Well, not description, comments down below. And I'll certainly feature some of the harder puzzles that Canis Dad has created. Um, all that said, hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle and the video and see you back for the next one.
Bye-bye for now.